Okay, uh, I've been hearing that some folks are still having a bit of a problem figuring out how the package and deployment wizard works. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, we'll open up a project. In this case, it'll be code loader. So, open up the project. Okay. There's our source code and everything. Now to make sure the package and deployment wizard is there, go to the add-ins menu and select add-in manager. Make sure the package and deployment wizard is on the list and you have the checkboxes for loaded unloaded and load on startup selected. That will come up like this on the, on the right hand side. Okay, if package and deployment wizard does not show up on this list, then it won't work for your version of Visual Basic. Okay, click all right. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we go to add-ins and select package and deployment wizard. Okay, at this point we can select package. And any time it asks if we want to recompile, do so and make sure everything works fine. And we save it, of course. That goes without saying. Okay. Now we've no already got one in here, a packaging script called Code Loader. But you can do none if you want to start from scratch. So click Next. And select Standard Setup Package. From there, we're going to def define where it's going to compile this package at. Okay, it normally starts off at the package folder, which is inside of the project folder. But you can change that at anything you like. But we're just going to stick with package for now. So click next. Let's see. Now it currently doesn't exist, so we'll create it. Now, a lot of times when you're using HTML help, it's going to give this error. But, it's, we can ignore it by clicking OK. That's just one of the little bugs we have to work around now and then. Now, you'll see here, this is a list of everything that's going to be included in this package. All the dills, all the controls, all the files, including her runtime package. Alright, next. Now in this case we're going to be making a single cab, but if you wanted to put this on, say, multiple floppy disks, you could select multiple cabs, select the size of your floppy disk, and during the packaging pro process, uh, Visual Basic will prompt you to add the next disk. But, in this case, we're going to do a single cab to the hard drive. Now, here we're going to define the title that's going to appear at the top of that big blue gradient screen that you've been seeing for a long time now and wondering, wow, I wonder how I can get it to do that on my programs. Well, this is how. In this particular case, it's actually going to say code loader. So, that's what we're going to put. And as it shows, it's going to show up at the top of that blue screen during the setup. Alright, so click Next. Now in this section, we define what subfolder this is going to appear in, in your Start Menu Programs. Okay, in this particular case, it says Code Loader, but you can change that to whatever you like. We like to set up to say MSB Ministries, because that's, well, what we set up most of our package to use. And we'll set it to common so that all users of the computer can use it. Alright, click OK. And click Next. OK, now it's going to be showing us all the paths for all the files that are in there, where they'll be deployed to. And everything looks good. Just to make sure, though, go over the list if you need to. Make sure everything's good. When you do, click Next. 
Now here it's asking what files we want to be shareable in case we uninstall this program later on and some other programs might want to use these files. Now normally we could leave help file in there but not everything's going to use it. <laughs> in this particular case we're just looking at the help file for this program so we can leave that in and coloader exe that's our main executable for the program we don't need to have that stay either so we can leave both of those unchecked click next now this is what we're going to call the script since we started off with none from the drop down list at the beginning we can make a new one code loader that'll probably tell me they got one there already yeah because I had it previously but we can overwrite it as with any name alright it's creating it and once it's finished creating it it's going to drop us down into this we can save the report if we like and there's not a lot you can make out of it nothing useful in it but you can if you like to otherwise click close and click close and you're out of it okay close that up now you'll see it's created a package folder and within this package folder we have the three main files that I'll actually use if you go to put them together in a zip file for distribution and the support folder has a copy of everything that's in the cab file plus a copy of all the scripts that it needs to put everything back together if it goes to recompile again okay so let's close that up and if you have any questions you can send us an email at info at msbministries.org and specify what you'd like to talk about in the subject line okay so thank you for listening and we'll see you again later